In this video, you will get some heartfelt SAT motivation that will help you study for the SAT. My name is Patsy Severson. I'm the inventor of the Severson Method. It's a scientifically proven way to learn anything fast, especially when it comes to SAT and motivating yourself to study. So a lot of you reach out to me. I get DMs on Instagram, uh, on YouTube. Uh, some, some of you email me, find my email. Uh, many of you actually ask this question as a part of the membership and ask Katya, well, Katya, how do I get myself motivated to study on a daily basis? So let's say now you have your date, you're registered for the SAT. What should you be doing now every day? And everyone is kind of asking for big leaps big hacks. What is that number one secret that will help me answer all of the questions correctly? And the saddest truth is that there is no one big secret. The one big secret is that every day you should be making tiny, consistent steps towards getting better at the SAT. What I always tell my private clients is that you have 10 minutes. And if you cannot afford to plan your evening, to plan your homework, I always tell them you could not afford not to plan your evening and not to plan your homework. Every single day, I want you to focus on one little aspect of the SAT. If you don't know where to start, well, the membership is there to help you out, navigate what should you be working on. But I, in general, I recommend starting with the hardest section. If reading is the hardest section, that is probably something you should be working on. But it, it is all very individual, but if you are scoring below 1400, your score is a linear reward function. The more time you're putting in to SAT prep, the higher is your score. Whether it's linear equations that you're working on, subject verb agreement, tense agreement, whether it's evidence-based questions on the reading section that you're working on, the more time you're spending practicing those questions, the higher is your score. So every single day, consistent effort. Another thing I wanted to say, and this is a quote from this book, this book has seen better times. It's uh, by Stephen Covey, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. And the quote is like this. The noise of urgent creates an illusion of important. And I often think about this quote when I hear um, excuses for my private clients or membership clients where they didn't do the homework because um, there was a family outing and then everyone came over and or they were cleaning their room or they were rewriting their notes or doing something else. Successful students are not necessarily accomplishing more tasks. Successful students have just as much time as you do, but they are accomplishing the tasks that matter. And what matters right now, if you already have a date on the calendar, is putting your SAT prep first. Sadly, yes, putting it ahead of your perhaps friendships, putting ahead of your hangout time. You have 10 minutes every single day. So it's not about quantum leaps and quantum leaps happen as a cumulative effect of those small daily consistent changes. I'm not asking you to work on all of the SAT. Pick one area because I also find that when you're trying to work on everything, you're not really working on anything. Choose a chapter. Maybe today it's chapter nine by Eric Meltzer. Go through the chapter. Decide how long it will take you. Perhaps going through the whole chapter is going to take too much time. Go through the first two pages. And then tomorrow, next two pages. The day after tomorrow, next two pages. So keeping yourself accountable and doing something for the SAT every single day is going to create those quantum leaps for you. And obviously taking practice tests a few times um, before taking the real test. And uh, I hope this helps. Please give this video a thumbs up. I want you to type in your own um, suggestions. What is it that you are currently doing uh, every single day to get better at the SAT? And uh, I'll see you in the next video.